Hello Internet, welcome back. You must be bored, but thanks for joining anyway. Um, quick job today, nothing special, but um, as you can see from the title, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to be doing some work on the S3. Um, I've splashed out, let me show you what I've got. So, welcome to my extremely messy and dirty bench. Like I say, I've been splashing out, and um, yes, these are what I bought. Original NGK coil packs for an R8, so that should add oh, a good 100 brake horsepower to the car at least. Um, got them from these guys, uh, Bullseye, I have to say, uh, great service, next day delivery, uh, not endorsed by them at all, as you can see I pay for it myself, so um, just wanted to give them a shout because their service was brilliant, and if you get good service, you should always mention people. So, NGK coil packs, yeah these are, like I say, for an R8. Um, and everybody raves on about these because they're, they're much better than standard. Um, yeah, well, we shall see. I can't imagine they're much better than standard, but what I wanted to do is um, the coil packs that are in there. Excuse me, noise. Can you unwrap this? Can you unwrap that first and start talking? So the coil packs I've got in there, um, I got with the car. Um, I've had the car a few years, so I like to change the coil packs yeah, regularly. Well, not that regularly, but every sort of five or so years. Um, and this time I bought, like I say, original NGK, that uh, a design for um, the higher sports end of, uh, of the Audi range, R8s and uh, RS6s, things like that. So today I'm going to stick them in. So let's get these over to the car and let's get the job done. So there you go. There is um, a cover. <laughs> People have been asking about this. It's an Awuga horn. Yes, I know. I need to grow up. Um, it was done for a car show many years ago. Um, a little lad was having a drive-by car show, so it's just a bit of fun. And it stayed on there, and it comes in quite handy. So, first job, obviously get the cover off. Just like this. I'll also try not to lose anything down the back of the engine this time, because the last video, when I did that plate, yeah, I lost something. Spanner. Or a socket. It was that. It was that socket. Right, next job. Coil packs out. Now, on one of my last videos, somebody gave me a little tip. I used to take these out with a little pry bar, um, but they said what you need to do is wrap some wire around them and give them a pull. Let's try it. Ah, stronger wire needed. Stronger wire, tip off the internet, part two. Reminds <coughs> me cry bars. Old school. Old school works. <laughs> Stick to my methods, I think. It was a good tip, and I thought it could uh, it could work, but yeah, it wasn't tip that worked for me. Right, give me a minute, I need to uh, I need to do this with two hands. So yeah, that's all four out and uh, yeah looking at this these I suppose it is possible they could be the original ones. Um, nothing wrong with them to be fair but um, yeah obviously over time they do break down so I wanted to replace them, and some pretty red ones will look nice in there, even though it's covered with an engine cover. Hmm. And in with the new. There you go, all in pride of place. Nice easy job, doesn't take long. Uh, so right, put the runner back on again now, uh, put the cover back on, and uh, start her up. Just like that. There you go. Alright, so let's, um, let's start her up. Yeah, ready? Well, she starts. She runs me. What more can I say? So, there you go, a nice easy 5 minutes, 100 brake horsepower upgrade for the S3. 
join me for the next video where it might be equally as boring but thanks for joining me anyway cheers youtube by Thanks. the way, I didn't lose anything.